30,000 runners participated in the 38th Annual Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C., October 27th. Before the gunshot heard around D.C., Marine and Army veterans jumped from a fixed-wing aircraft holding a 7,800-square-foot American flag, the largest flag to be held in a performance jump. After the gunshot, runners and cyclists finally put their training to the test. Despite threats of cancellation due to the government shutdown, the competition proceeded as planned. When asked why they're participating, runners say it's more than just a race, it's for a greater cause. To be with the rest of uh, the wounded uh, Marines from Team Semper Fi. Running for the Organization for Autism Research. I think it's really humbling just to come out here, and especially because we live in the nation's capital, to remember the people that you know make this possible, that make every day a possibility. So we thank you guys for, for doing your job every day uh, without ever complaining. Runners are reminded of the sacrifices made from the ones who gave their lives for freedom by running through the nation's capital. Yes, looking great out here. Runners race past the Jefferson Memorial, Washington Monument, nice job, runners! and Capitol Hill, all stark reminders of what sets this marathon apart. An Ethiopian native, Jerma Bedida, won the race in two hours and 22 minutes. Army Captain Kelly Calway was the first female to finish with a time of 2 hours and 42 minutes. Both competitors finished with just enough energy to claim their bragging rights. Uh, well, um, I passed my teammate around mile 8 and I said I wasn't looking back. From Washington, D.C., I'm Lance Corporal Allie Beisman.